Hello and welcome back to the Friendly Filmmaking YouTube channel. This is Bryce and I uh, wanted to show you guys. These are the MD-80 knockoff uh, cameras. Uh, these are uh, basically a knockoff of the movie MUVI uh, cameras that are about 50 bucks. These cameras run less than um, 20 bucks generally. Uh, anywhere from twenty-five to to fifteen dollars, generally less than twenty dollars. They come with a two gig card generally installed in them, a little micro SD card. Uh, they have uh, there's a power on button here. There is a record button here, and then there's a sound sensitivity mode here. So basically, if it's anywhere over sixty-five dB then it will start recording and supposedly it will record up to 45 minutes on this card um, some models that you'll find they're 640 by 480 uh, and some are 720 by 480 I forget which one this one is um, they come with a variety of little mounts uh, including little helmet mounts and and clippy mounts and stuff and they use a standard USB plug down here and it, it's instantly seen as a flash drive if you plug that in and there's also a mode where you can uh, turn the power on and press the uh, sound button and it will activate the webcam mode so you can use it as a webcam so it's a regular uh, USB cable and you'll notice I have a twist tie on here and that is because a lot of these mounts the little corner notches that keep the thing plugged in here you can see it's charging right now because that's the light on it uh, but they have these little notches here that keep it mounted in there and um, you can either use a rubber band or a twist tie once those break off because they're gonna break off and everybody that I know that uses these uh, they use them for like RC or they use them as spy cameras uh, today I actually have a plan to use this as a spy camera uh, attached to the visor of my car uh, because we have uh, something going on that I want to get some hidden camera footage of. Anyway, um, so these are really discreet. I mean, really, no one's going to notice it. It's literally the size of my thumb, so uh, it's very easy to keep hidden. You can, you know, stash it in some flowers, or if you keep it on the visor of your car, it, hardly anyone's going to notice it. It's so tiny. Um, the thing that you need to know about these is that they are uh, notorious for you get a lemon about half the time. So literally, this is a lemon, and that one isn't. The, that one doesn't. That one does work, and this one doesn't work. So I'm probably going to open this up and um, and try to see if there's something loose or something that I can diagnose. But I wanted you guys to see these. Uh, the other thing you need to know is that they, by default, they do put a timestamp on the video, and you'll have to like crop that or edit it out. And they also, um, there's a way to hack the firmware on it. If you uh, if you want to try it, you can take the the EEPROM out of there and literally reprogram it so it doesn't put the timestamp on it. But it's kind of a process. Uh, you can also set the time and date on it uh, to be appropriate, but the documentation doesn't really tell you how to do that. So uh, I will put in the description down there how it worked on mine, and if someone wants to add uh, add to that, then they can. But you can uh, put the timestamp file on the on the uh, camera. And then it you power it up and it will fix the time. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you these. These are really cheap and they're easy to hide, and um, you can get some really nice footage. I mean, they're not like you know they're like a webcam, but the truth is, like they get they get really good frame rate, and uh, especially when there's a lot of light, they don't do really really well in low light, but. Uh, for a little spy camera, they do pretty nice, and uh, it beats paying a whole bunch of money for a hero if you don't need a hero. Um, but I like mine. Uh, we've used it to film some uh, RC planes and stuff, put them on RC planes and and uh, rockets and cars and stuff, 
anyway, they're really cheap. I hope you like these. Um, they're kind of fun. And if you don't want to go with the little, uh, you know, knockoff, cheapo knockoff, you don't want to gamble with that, you can actually go get the Viho mo uh, movie camera. Uh, and I'll put the description, I'll put a link in the description for that too. So you guys can find either one. Uh, you know, these ones are really cheap and they, you know, have a pretty a pretty bad track record for shipping you lemons, but uh, the uh, the movie ones have a pretty good track record. They're the same camera, pretty much, uh, and you you can you pretty much get what you pay for. But you know, it's something cool, and it's tiny, and it's super cheap. So even even the the movie one at fifty bucks is is not that expensive uh, for something so tiny. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. Uh, make sure that you check out the friendly filmmaking YouTube channel over here, uh, and wait, wait a minute, the friendly filmmaking Facebook group right there, and uh, at, at friendlyfilmmaking.info, and uh, hope that you'll check that out, make sure you click the subscribe button up there if you like these videos, and you can also click the previous or the next video buttons up there. Anyway, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.